Yeah, yeah that's the thing about God alike, man. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about God alike. You feel me? Like, it's always ready to forgive. You feel me? Always ready. You're always ready to forgive, man. Always ready, man. It don't, it don't matter, bro. Like... What's good, B Squad? It's your boy, Bless. And I'm back with another one, man. So, look, man, how you all doing today, man? I hope you are doing good, man. You feel me? But look, man, you see the title We Guard the Army of Satan, Part 2. You have one devil, but five angels man i believe so man one is trying to tell you to do bad the other five is trying to tell you nah 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 you know what nah do this good one nah it's to do this appreciate you for recommending this video man we're gonna be checking this video out together but before we do man make sure to drop a like on the video make sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications also feel free to recommend any videos you want me to react to and i got you man with that being said let's get into the video man Ibn Abi Hatim, عنه, one of the great scholars of the hadith in his Sunan, he reports that Iblis made a dua to Allah and he said, Oh Allah, you want me or you created me to have fitna, to do fitna on the children of Adam. I have no power on the children of Adam until and unless you allow me to. Mm. So grant me the power to cause fitna to children of Adam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, for you is that. Then Shaitan said, oh Allah, give me more. Increase mm. me in it. Listen to this. He said, what? Increase me in it. So Allah said, whenever a child of Adam is born, you will have another Shaitan that is also born. Mm. Meaning for every human being that exists in this dunya, there will be another Shaitan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows Shaitan to actually procreate and to have more children. For every child that is born in this dunya, there is another shaitan that comes into existence as well. Mm -hmm. Then the shaitan said, Oh Allah, increase it for me. And so at that point, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, For you is the opportunity to flow in the veins of Ibn Adam, just like the flowing of blood. So Allah gave him the ability to go into our bodies, to start to wonder and, and play with our minds, mm -hmm. to be able to so inconspicuously sound in our mind as if it is our own deep thoughts but it is actually shaitan saying his worst and evil evil words into our mind whispering into our ears mm -hmm. and then shaitan said even more allah give us give me even more and so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the verse <laughs> that's an army against them with the recovery the infantry and be their partner in wealth and children and give them promises hmm. with deception true. true what is this verse true and O oh Shaitan, gather your forces, gather your armies, gather your khayl, gather your, your, your horses of fire from Jahannam, gather them all, and gather your men, gather the shayateen, which are the knights of the Shaitan, and go and create your hamla, your war upon humanity. And go and destroy them with your forces of evil, go and attack them. Wa'idhum and promise them everything under the heavens and the earth, and then Allah says, "Wama yaidu mu shaitanu illa wulura." And whatever Allah and whatever Shaitan promises you, it's nothing but a mirage. It's nothing but a dream. It's just facade. It's fake. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but a lie. Right. So in this hadith, it continues, and it says that Adam, alayhi salatu salam, heard this du'a of iblis. And came to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, Ya Rabbi, you have given shaitan this much power and authority over me. 
So what will you give me, Ya Allah? Give me something. So Allah said, a child of yours will not be born in this dunya except that I will send two angels, not one. One shaitan, but two angels that will constantly protect him from the evil of the shayateen. That's what Allah says in the Quran. He says, وَجَعَلْنَا مِن بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ What is Allah? Oh no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? لَهُمْ مُعْقِبَاتُ مِن بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ What is that verse? It says that for every single human being are two interchanging angels, one in the front, one in the back, that preserve him from the command of Allah. Meaning what? We have five angels at any one time. Shaitan mm. is one enemy, but we have five I believe at any so. one time. Two to write down our deeds. One on the right, one on the left. Good deeds, bad deeds. Mm -hmm. And then two more to protect us. One from the front, one from the back. And they also interchange. And then a fifth one to simply whisper into our ears, do good, do good. Say this, say that. Say subhanAllah, say alhamdulillah. Say la ilaha illallah. And he is our good side. Five angels. True. I Allah believe so. I believe so. Adam became happy. And so he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, for every bad deed, I will only write one bad deed or I will remove it, meaning I will forgive it. But for every good deed, I will write 10 good deeds. So he became happy. And he said, oh Allah, give me more. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that I promise you that my forgiveness is forever open. Okay. Until the soul leaves the body. Meaning, once the soul is in the body, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness is always open. Right. And then... Yeah, that's the thing about God alike, man. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about God alike. You feel me? Like, it's always ready to forgive. You feel me? Always ready. Always ready to forgive, man. Always ready, man. It don't, it don't matter, bro. Like... You feel me? The thing is, man, once you once you pass away, nah, there's no longer forgiveness no more, man. You feel me? There's no longer forgiveness, man. You feel me? That's why that's one thing that people people don't be looking at. You feel me? They just be looking at, yo, nah, I'm just living life, or oh, I still got time, or oh, I'm just living, or oh, life is short, or oh, oh, you never, oh, this that this that, bro. Yes, you never know, bro. But like, that's that should be a better reason for you to be like, nah, bro. Let me consider this. Let me consider that. You feel me? Let me not do this. Let me not do that. You feel me? I, I'm nobody to tell anybody has to leave the last man. My life ain't perfect right here, but uh, you know, I'm trying to do better, man. That's that's all, man. You feel me? I'm just trying to do better, man. That's all. You feel me? Yeah, that's just it. Because Shaitan asked four times, so <laughs> Adam alayhi salatu salam, our father asked the fourth time, Ya Rabbi, zid, give me even more than that. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied, Meaning, yeah. do not at all despair, at all, do not have any doubt at all that Allah loves us so much, He cares for us so much, He really wants to be with us in Jannah, He did not create us to punish us at all. That's why this verse is the strongest verse ever revealed in the Quran. As was reported, some of the scholars said, which is the greatest of all verses? They said, Ayat al-Kursi. Another one said, which is the greatest verse about Allah's, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Qulhu Allahu ahad Allahu salam, right? And then they said, which is the greatest verse for happiness? That creates the greatest happiness. This is the verse of happiness. Qul ya ibadi alladhin asrafu ala anfusihim. La... For the back. Say only servants who have transgressed against themselves by sinning. Do not at all despair of the mercy of Allah. At all despair of the mercy of Allah. Inna Allah yaghfiru dhunuba jami Allah loves to forgive. And you will forgive every single sin. Your past, your future, your present, every single sin. True. And I believe that we have angels, good and bad, you know, trying to tell us what and what not to do. No matter what it is, man, he 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 will forgive you, man. Once he sees that now nah, you change, bro, nah, he will forgive you. Now the devil come now will try to bring you back, try to push you back, man, try to make things hard for you, try to put you this, trying to give you this and. 
make you do that and do that, you know, trying to trying to bring you back, man, you feel me, but nah, bro, nah, bro, call on God and he got you, man, I appreciate you all for watching, if you enjoy videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video, make sure to subscribe, man, turn on your post notifications, also feel free to recommend any videos you want me to react to, and I got you, man, it's your boy, Bless, signing out, man, peace.